Hello, this is Scott Sackett. I am a comic book artist. I use Manga Studio 5. Um, a friend of mine was having trouble with the um, panel borders in Manga Studio 5, and so I told him that I would record a tutorial video to show him how to do it. I've never recorded a tutorial video before, and I'm holding my iPhone above my uh, tablet. I use a, I'll pull back so you can see it. I use an Asus. Uh, B121 uh, tablet that I draw on, draw comics on, and I draw directly on it. So, so it's going to be a little awkward here. So if you can't read any of this, I'll try and go slow in case you can't read things. So what what I want to do, what I have here is I have a page that I've created that basically is a template. And, and um, let's see, I'll zoom in real quick. Basically, it has it's a it, it duplicates a Strathmore page. Let me show it. See, you know, got all the headers and stuff set on it, and that's just one of the layers. And so what I what I've done is I've got this page. So what I want to do is I want to use this page and draw panels on it. Now, uh, this is a new page, but you would imagine I've already done my roughs on this page for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, okay, so what I want to do. What you want to do to, to start drawing is you want to come over here and you want to select this. It's called the figure uh, tool. I'm not sure why, but what it is is the tool that you draw lines with. And you select it, and then what you do is you go over here to the subtool menu, and then what you click is you click on frame. Okay, so now if you look over here, it has the frame tool. Okay, now while we're here selecting the tools, we're going to draw a that this tool will draw the outside frame that goes out the outside the entire thing. But then what you want to do, and you can use that to draw the individual panels. But what works better is if you come over here, and with this tool, which is the correct line tool, which is the tool that you use to select nodes. If you click on it, and then you come over here, you'll see that one of your options is this is called the cut frame border again this is under sub tools so if you if you click on that we'll go back over to the tool menu so if you can make sure your focus is on it you'll see that that's changed so it's the cut tool menu now um, okay so now what you do is you select this tool right here it's the, it's the it's and you have an option, you have different options to draw, but what I'm using is what is called the rectangle frame tool. Okay, so then you'll draw, let me zoom out a little bit, and you'll draw, and it kind of snaps to your allowance lines. See, I'm not near it yet, but it kind of snaps to it. Okay, and so what that does is that, that gives you this thing. Okay, um, and so now what you want to do is come over here and select this tool. Um, also, something else that I've done here, I'll point this out, under the tool property, I have select uh, shape of tool linear. Also, this separate folder, um, I have, you can select whether you want it to duplicate the layer, create a new empty folder, no change. I don't like folders for different panels, so I, I'm gonna go with no change. Okay, so now you're using this tool right here, and then this tool, you can come in here, and you can, let me zoom out a little bit, you can cut your panels. Now, I'm holding my phone with your hand, but if you hold down the shift key, it'll snap it to, to the, it'll snap to a straight line. So then you just come in here and uh, draw your shift tool, or draw your panels like you would normally. Now, if you had your shift tool, you could, it would snap to straight, but I'm doing this one-handed. And you'll notice it, it kind of puts a little border around it, or uh, I'm sorry, a little blue area around it. That's to show... What it's doing is it's making a mask. Okay, so now what I do is then I will then come down and I've opened my layers palette and I'll come here and we got, I got a normal layer and we'll say I've drawn on this. And, and what I'll do is I'll draw on the normal layer. And then what I do, and let's see, I'll just, I'll just scribble some stuff just so you can see this. I'll go outside the layers or the, the lines on the borders. Okay, so imagine that I've roughed in all my panels or I've drawn all my panels. The last thing I'll do is I'll come up here on the, the on and I'll select this uh, this layer right here that's got the mask on it and then I'll come up here to the top uh, let's see it's under layer 
and what I'll go I'll, I'll go down to rasterize and I'll rasterize that layer and what that does is that makes a that makes a frame a, a, that makes a layer that's called normal frame okay so then what I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll close that original frame and you can delete that and then we'll just drag this down then what I'll do is I will come over here and again this is the last thing I do when I'm drawing a page or close to last I'll get the bucket tool I'll get this and then I'm on I'm on that layer that it made which is the normal frame one and I'll drop white outside there and what that did is that put that put a white color fill around all those panels and so what that does is, is you'll notice that now you can't see where my line went I'll lighten up that layer you can kind of see it now so you can see it when I lighten it up but then there anyway that's a that's a that's how I draw panels um, on Manga Studio 5. It's a little bit different than 4. Took a little while to get used to it. Anyway, um, if you, if you like this tutorial, uh, you want to drop me a line. You can go to my website at scottsackett.org. Um, if if people view this, I may make some more or whatever. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good evening. Bye.